what's happening guys take a look at this beautiful classic Harley Davidson 350 this is the uh, later model with the down tube frame here it was a little sturdier than the earlier models and uh, it's an absolutely gorgeous condition cosmetically with only 1619 original miles on it. exhaust note to it bike appears to be all original the horn works the uh, it even has turn signals on it amazingly 1619 miles We've had quite a few of these come through the shop here at, at uh, Kaplan Cycles. And um, this is one of the cleaner looking ones with lower miles on it. The paint job was just done by Mill Street Auto. It's a $450 paint job on the, on the original dent-free tank. The original saddle's in beautiful condition. Still has the turn signals, original turn signals intact. The rear fender is in beautiful shape as is the uh, rear taillight assembly. Front end looks like new. Uh, the chrome's in excellent condition. That's the good news. The bad news is it's going to need a, an engine rebuild. We're not exactly sure why, but it does need an engine rebuild. Uh, we did bring it in and completely recondition the gas tank. I'll have to go with the work order. But uh, actually, the inside of the tank was uh, soda blasted and then uh, sealed with the uh, tank sealing product. So it's super clean inside there. And the Gas is flowing out nice and clean. There's no rust issues inside. The, out, the outside of the tank was completely restored. The fuel petcocks were cleaned, and it has new fuel lines on it. The carburetor was rebuilt. Um, it doesn't have the air boot to air box connector right now, so it's running uh, without an air cleaner on it right now. So it definitely needs an air boot to air box connector. That's the only part that's missing on it. But uh, the outside of the engine looks to be in mint condition. The inside of it's going to need a rebuild, probably... Uh, push rods, pistons, and maybe crank bearings. But I'd rather buy one like this that just need to rebuild the motor than one that needs a total cosmetic restoration because it really adds up the cosmetic restoration. And let's face it, the thing's 53 years old. It's an antique. So to rebuild the motor and know what you've got into it is probably the way to go. The uh, brakes work great. The chain of sprockets are nice. It has original shocks on there. The original exhaust is intact. A couple of little rust spots on the back of the pipe right here. But nothing too bad on the, on the original LaFranconi dual exhaust. So um, AMF era Aramaki 350 Harley Davidson SS. This is a 1973 model. We replaced the battery in it. We put a new starter solenoid in it, a new starter button. Um, the uh, oil was changed with the 50 weight oil and did some wiring to it to get stuff to work. Installed the starter relay and the starter button, installed the used battery. Uh, it was a battery we had in the shop, used battery. It's not a new battery, but it was a good used battery. Uh, went through the carburetor, rebuilt that. Uh, as I said, derusted the tank and tank seal and seam inside with glue uh, so that it wouldn't leak. Um, the tank seal and seam is a glue-type glue, glue type product that keeps it from leaking. Um, front flat was fixed, uh, changed the oil, um, and then it went through the detail shop for a full six-hour, what we call rotisserie detail, hot water steam cleaned. Right-hand side cover was painted black. Uh, the frame was touched up, all the chrome clean and polished, the engine was detailed, the seat was leather conditioned, various nuts and bolts, wire wheeled, or vapor plastic, blasted, you know, whatever it needed. Um, again, Mill Street Auto put a $450 uh, show quality paint job on it, and it's got brand new graphics on it. So um, the good news is we've already done $2,000 worth of restoration and preservation services and work on it. The, the bad news is it's going to need a engine rebuild, but once when it's done, uh, these are investment quality classics. They're regularly bringing north of $5,000 in restored condition. So there's a lot of sweat equity. If you can get the parts, the parts to do the motor job will probably be under $500 if you can do it yourself. Um, you've got yourself an awesome machine. If you want to just put it on display the way it is, we've sold quite a few of these to collectors not running uh, in the $1,500 to $5,000 range. We had a couple of them sell for $5,000 not running in absolutely mint shape. That was one of the two-stroke ones, actually. But... Um, yeah, it's there. You know, it's it's an auction, so we'll let the market determine the final value. One of a few Armakis we got coming through, and you can see this one's all there and it's straight. Just needs some engine work. So, but it does run and ride. You can run and ride it the way it is. Wouldn't recommend riding it too far uh, the way it is. I'd rather see it repaired so you don't do any damage to the internals. So, any questions? Give us a call 860-454-7024. Thanks for watching. God bless Harley Davidson and God bless America.